Welcome back. It's still tea time on Plus TV Africa. We have not one guest, but two guests in the studio. One of the duo has been writing from a very young age. He is a best-selling author and um, the man behind the viral story, which has now been adapted for screen, Finding Hobby. And the other is a gorgeous actress. She's definitely a cast on Finding Hobby, Adela Oye. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. I'm the drum roll guy. Like, you know, I'll give you guys a drum roll. Thank, thank you. Thank his you. His crush is here, so he needs to continue drumming. <laughs> uh. Don't let her deceive you. I have a lot of crushes. Oh. I'm candy So is she, is she part of wow. the crushes? He's very candy. He's candy crushing. Yeah. Am I part? Yeah, Am the I? sweetest candy. Oh. That's oh. the right answer. That's <laughs> the right answer. <laughs> answer. Okay. okay, before we start cheesy, I'm cheesy. Your show. <laughs> let's talk about finding hobby. I mean, yeah. when the story came out, um, I'm not going to say I read everything from beginning to end, but I saw the progression of that story and a lot of people loved mm. it. It was relatable, it was sweet, easy and all. Mm. And now it's going to be on the big screen. What's, what has that journey been like for you? Um, it's, it's actually been a very interesting one. I usually say finding hobby is like the jumping up point for my writing career. Mm -hmm. I'd written a book before then. The book didn't do very well. It was, it was an interesting book. You know when you write a book and you know, ah, my book is going to do well. And then it goes into the market and doesn't do so great. So a couple of my friends were like, look, Nigerians don't read. Mm. Just forget wow. this, you're writing thing. But I, so I set out to write Finding Hobby to prove to them that Nigerians would read if it was a story they could relate with, mm. if it was a story they would enjoy. So I started writing it as a diary mm. of a lady. And everybody thought it was a lady that was writing. I know, mm -hmm. I think three yeah. months in, when I revealed it was a guy, <laughs> everyone was that way. But it, it, um, very thankfully, it, it went viral. It went everywhere. At the end of the six months he ran for, maybe two million people had read it. Mm -hmm. it. It was read on radio all over the country, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. Mm -hmm. um, and it had a massive following. And everything else that I've done in terms of writing and creatively has really built on the foundation it laid. Mm -hmm. So very happy. All right, so I've read a few of your works. Sorry, I'm coming to you. You know, you're the sweetest candy, though. But um, I've read a few of your works, and I noticed that you pay attention to a lot of details. Now that this, um, your book is getting adapted into a movie, Finding Hobby, right? Mm -hmm. um, what would you say is missing? What would you say, you're part of the production, you're part of the directing. What would you say you wish was there, but isn't there? Because right now, they're making it look like every woman has, needs to find a husband. That's what the book is about. <laughs> so what is missing? Um, I, I think um, one of the things I like about how we've approached uh, making the film is that we showed that it's a film that starts from finding hobby. So the, the ladies definitely want to find a husband. Mm. And that's important and all of that. But at the end of it all, you find that they realize that what they were actually finding was happy. Mm. You know, they were trying to find happiness. And at the beginning, they thought finding a husband would be happy. But at the end of it, they, they, found, they found out some other things that I hope people will find out when they watch it. Okay. Um, so that, that's what they will find um, different in the way we've adapted the story from the way we wrote it originally. Okay, okay. So let's talk to about to sorry, okay. your role in the, in the movie that yeah. we're about to watch. What, what would you say about that role? So I play the, I guess, the title character mm -hmm. of Oye Clegg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so, you know, this, it's written in her voice. And um, she's a mess. <laughs> like, she's a hot mess, but in a good way. Um, I had so much fun um, working on this. I, to do research for the role, I actually went and started reading the blogs because I was, I was out of the country when um, it was popular in Nigeria. So I went and just kind of like read everything and I just, I could see myself playing her. She's mm. incredibly fun. Um, she, she's very, she has skoi skoi, you know, mm. she's very special. Um, but she's just, you know, larger than life, just wants to have a good time, um, has a, a her two best friends, Toke uh -huh. and Gloria, who kind of go on this journey with her, played by Kende Bankole and, and uh, Monachi Abi. So it was just, it was fun. Our director, Femi Ogusanwo, was just amazing to work with. And um, people are going to have fun. I think people are going to really be able to see themselves in her. All we right, all so have that. From a, from a woman's perspective, let's mm -hmm. talk about the marriage institution in Nigeria, mm -hmm. because um, a lot of women see it like it's an achievement when I get married. Mm -hmm. um, you know, my friend got married last week. God, when my own, God, no go shame or she starts saying God, when God and when. stuff like that. So what do you think about it? Do you think there's a lot of pressure being put on women instead of them to be happy as women, you know, regardless of the gender, than the marriage institution, which a lot of people feel like it's an achievement? Um, I don't think there's 
anything wrong with marriage at all. Mm -hmm. I think marriage is a wonderful institution. Mm -hmm. um, I think happy marriage is, I think a happy marriage is the goal, not just to be married. Success, yeah. yeah, so I think marrying for marrying's sake is, is not okay. Um, I think life is, we, th there's so many different phases in life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in a society like Nigeria, we do put a lot of pressure on women to be married by a certain age and all mm -hmm. of that. Like it's so bad that some people don't even care whether they're happy or not, as long as they have a, a ring, a ring mm -hmm. on their finger. And I think sometimes too, even in Nigeria, single women, they're disrespected mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Usually mm -hmm. like your, your worth or your value is, is attached to whichever man you happen to be attached to, and th that's not okay. Um, I think marriage is great, but mm -hmm. it's not the end of the world. It's important it to get into character when you, you know, trying to portray a, char um, a character in a mm -hmm. movie. Yeah. So, what would you say that you learned from Oyin Clegg as Adelaoye that you know you took home and then right now you're you're, you're infusing it into your life as as Adelaoye? Um, I think, well, as an actor, I think it's important to also separate yourself from the character. <laughs> yeah, <true. But> <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just be walking so around with like, like, exactly, I'm <laughs> like, mm, I'm like schizophrenic and like breaking out into different characters at different times. No, um, I'm joking. Um, I think for me, I love how Oni grew through the course of the film. Mm. Um, I like how her, you know, she starts kind of very one track minded. Um, and like Tony was saying, like, you know, it get, they all, all the characters kind of got to a point where they decided, they figured out what made them happy. Mm. And I think for me, that's something I have taken and I want to continue um, mm. living mm. F going forward is, it's not about what society says, mm -hmm. it's not about what anybody says. Find your own happiness mm -hmm. and live that. And I feel like you just need to find purpose and you need to find fulfillment outside of what society says. You okay, we to. have our time is almost up. But before we go, let's talk about the cast. I'm hearing Kenny Bankoli, Mona Chiabi. Mm -hmm. That's like some loaded cast. <laughs> What's the, what, what was the decision behind the choices and um, how were you able to get all these people? Adela is here. You know, how are you able to yes. get them on the project? Uh, I already have scoop on that. Tell <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, one, one name makes made the difference for me you know when you want to do things like this the person you work with really really matters mm -hmm. um femi Ogusa, who directed made a lot of this happen mm -hmm. you know in terms of how we went about casting um what he helped us do was to and like the way he went about it he set up parameters to say for this role these are the kind of things that we need so we were able to all of us just said okay this this role is this person or this person mm -hmm. for this role and he he made it happen that we got this very stellar cast. You know, we have people like Ade, we have Mona, we have Kende, mm -hmm. um, we have a Maomi Dada. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of people that oh, else that we have mean. that uh, we're revealing tomorrow. Okay. But, but I mean, I, I can see some of them. I can see one of them. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow you get to meet, you get to meet yeah. the men of Finding Hobby. Yeah. So when is it going to the cinema? Because we have to go. When okay. do we expect to see it in the cinema? Finding Hobby goes to the cinema in November, okay. at the end of November. Okay. And it's Thank distributed you. by Genesis Good. Distribution. Thank you for Finding wifey being though. part of the time. Thank you for watching as well. Please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 090-6000-5719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can watch um, Tea Time on Auto TV and, of course, in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shankaye, and our guests, Adela Oye and Tundeleye. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.